My name is Linus Liang, and I help save babies' lives. Linus Liang is not bragging. He's simply stating a fact that he and the rest of the team at Embrace are indeed saving lives, and they are doing so thanks to an assignment they received in a Stanford University classroom five years ago. And the challenge posed to us was to build a baby incubator that costs less than 1% the cost of a traditional incubator, which is $20,000. Jane Chen is now CEO of Embrace Innovations, but she was just a Stanford business student when she took on this unusual assignment. 20 million low birth weight and premature babies are born every year around the world. Um, one of the biggest problems they face is staying warm. It's a big issue, and it's one issue that hasn't really made much progress in the last 20 years. But incubators are not only expensive, they require a constant supply of electricity, they're difficult to operate, so you're not going to find them in rural areas where many of these babies are dying. We decided to make a solution uh, just catered towards uh, basically stabilizing a baby's temperature. We actually started with all these crazy ideas. We actually had hot water um, underneath the baby and you, you basically boil the hot water, you pour it underneath the baby, and then the idea was to warm up the baby and stabilize the temperature that way. Uh, but, you know, we realized that putting hot water in our baby is never a really good idea. The team went through many different ideas and designs before settling on an idea that proved to be a winner. So we developed the Embrace Infant Warmer, which looks like a little sleeping bag for the baby. It consists of a, a heating, an electric heater that we have um, that heats up a pouch. Uh, you can think of it as a plastic bag filled with this chemical. That chemical is a wax-like substance engineered to hold a constant temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, about the same as the human body temperature. With their product in place, the students made the decision to move their assignment to the next level, which meant moving to India, where 40% of all premature babies are born. It was there that they started manufacturing their product, and where they saw the Embrace Infant Warmer in use for the first time. They really attributed the health of the baby to Embrace. Um, and so we went into that village and they had told all the other villagers about the product and you know the grandmother was talking about it and it was just so rewarding to see that we uh, played a role in saving that baby's life. You can see that immediate result, you can see the baby's temperature stabilize, you can see them actually getting better and surviving and, um, and that's very, very rewarding. Embrace infant warmers have already been used on hundreds of premature and low weight babies in India. But the Embrace team members want this classroom assignment turned medical breakthrough to continue expanding around the world. China, um, Somalia, and pretty soon Afghanistan, Zambia, Uganda. So we're really trying to go global with this product. But really try to scale it out and get it to the, the people who really, really need it. So uh, what we want to do is probably affect the lives and impact the lives of hundreds of thousands of babies in the next couple years. Most students take their grade and move on to the next class. It's not an exaggeration to say hundreds of thousands of families around the world may someday be thankful this group of Stanford students did not stop working when their assignment was completed. Our hope is to create a whole line of affordable healthcare technologies for these communities. So the infant warmer is just the beginning of that vision. Grinnell College proudly recognizes Jane Chen and Linus Liang co-founders of Embrace and Embrace Innovations with the 2012 Grinnell Prize for work to improve maternal and child health. The prize honors young innovators and leaders while acknowledging the college's history of social change. Congratulations to co-founders Jane Chen and Linus Liang and Embrace and Embrace Innovations.